Morning, everybody. Um, I just want to try and redo that uh, the mediation video that I did the other day. Um, I was looking kind of scary on it. Um, okay, so as far as we are concerned as Fathers for Justice South Africa, mediation um, is used as a tool by the child abusing divorce industry um, to frustrate the process of contact um and care by um the disenfranchised parent not necessarily alienated but disenfranchised parent uh as admitted um by the family advocates office that disenfranchised parent would normally be in 91 percent of the cases the father uh why do i say that the um lawyers and advocates and psychologists uh, use mediation as a process to frustrate the process because once you've mediated that person or that family um, has effectively been taken out of the system so that they can get on with their lives which is one of the primary which is if not one of the primary it is the primary concern of fathers for justice is to get the family out of the legal justice system so basically what the, the child abusing divorce industry specialist would do is invariably they would advi advise the mother, sadly, to frustrate the, the, the mediation process. And there's no recourse. Um, I must say that as part of our application to the Department of Justice, it's one of the things that we are demanding that be changed. Um, so, and with the objective is, in order to frustrate the process, is so that the child abusing divorce industry specialist can then um, generate fees, because that is what this is all about. Uh, it's about the generation of blood money off the suffering of the backs of our children and nothing else. It's got nothing to do with whether it's within the law, within the ambit of the law or anything. It's about generating blood money off the suffering of our children. Um, and I hold the magistrates and the judges in South Africa personally severably liable for not enforcing mediation. Um, so the ruling should come back, go mediate. And the parent that frustrates the process, as far as we are concerned, and it should be made an order of court by the judge or the magistrate hearing the matter, should say the parent frustrating the mediation must be arrested until such time is that they grow up and start behaving like a bloody adult and more specifically like a parent um so that is what we are demanding the other thing that we are putting forward is is that in the mediation process um if um say for instance there's eight or ten items on the table for negotiation um, mediation and the, the couple are unable to uh, resolve two or three items that needs to be mediated in essence that's fine but what then should be made as an order of court by the judges or the magistrate instead of now having to rush back to the courts wasting court time it should automatically be sent to arbitration um, so effectively, let's assume that there's 10 items up for mediation or negotiation and there's three items that you can't conclude on. So the, let's say the seven items that you've managed to resolve through mediation must be made an interim order of court. And then the arbitration portion must be done. So you arbitrate the last two or three items and the arbitrated portion must automatically form part of the mediation combined submitted to the family advocates of office for endorsement and um, obviously signed off as an order of court buff bath clean neat tidy done dusted and out of the system okay sadly to say is that the child abusing divorce industry specialists as I've said are the problem the whole problem and nothing but the problem it's about them generating blood money off the suffering of our children i'm really not interested in hearing from lawyers or psychologists oh no but not i well if it's oh no not but i 
Well then, very simply, then please, can you assist the frustrated parent or the alienated parent in bringing around uh, child abuse and perjury charges, not only against the parent that is frustrating the process, but also the lawyers, the advocates, the psychologists, the social welfare worker, the family advocate involved, the uh, mediators, uh, and so on and so forth. We are, we are demanding that if you say, oh no, but not I, I don't act like that. We are demanding that you bring criminal charges of child abuse and perjury against the other side. And we have an expectation uh, that the judges and magistrates criminally prosecute the other party and his or her lawyer, advocate, psychologist, social welfare worker and mediator with child abuse. And we are demanding that there must be an automatic prison sentence. And um, yippee yay ki yay that uh, the particular professionals involved must automatically be removed from their particular professional body and as part of the ruling by the judge or the magistrate never allowed to practice their particular profession again it's that simple and if the and 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 unfortunately um for the judges and magistrates the buck stops with you guys so you it's within your power to start changing this at a fundamental level. But until we start seeing those kind of changes, I don't think that we can expect the child abusing divorce industry to change its ways. We have, we're not holding our breath. So um, that is our point of view on mediation. Mediation must be mandated in an order of court. The parent frustrating, uh, if the one parent or both parents frustrates the mediation process, they must be automatically arrested and imprisoned um, until such time as that they grow up, start behaving like adults and, uh, and more specifically parents, mediate. In the absence of the ability to mediate uh, one or two items that must go through to arbitration, once again, if during the arbitration process you have one or both parents frustrating the arbitration process, it's very simple, it's not complicated, they must be automatically arrested and placed in prison as part of an order of court from a judge or a magistrate. So we can stop playing the games. And, 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 if, and if more judges and magistrates actually started doing this, you would see an exponential drop in the amount of unnecessary, prohibitively expensive litigation in South Africa around divorce and separation. But like I said, we're not holding our breath. So there you have it, guys. And um, the parents out there that if you're interested in, in pushing this forward, we, I mean, like, it's got to be a groundswell. Um, so if you're interested, you can reach us to us. We, yes, we do uh, charge for... Um, services so please reach out to us i'm going to end the, the video because of the noise in the background take it easy